All right, so in my last video, I showed you guys how to connect the MPC Studio 2 inside of Logic Pro X, and a few of you guys had a few questions for me. So I'm gonna show you some cool tips that you can use to help make your workflow a lot easier and to get everything working for you. All right, so first thing you wanna do is load up a new instrument, and we'll just look for the MPC here. Go to my instruments, uh, where's a guy? And MPC, right? And with the MPC, you want to load it up as a multi out 16 track out and you go ahead and create it now you'll notice that there's only one track when you do open it but if you take a look in your mixer here I'll go ahead and move this out the way you notice there's a plus sign on the channel strip now the first thing I want you to do is just go ahead and open up and click click it until you can't click anymore and you should have about 16 tracks if you notice it's aux 1 to aux 15 and this instrument will make 16 so that will open up to the 16 tracks that are on the pad of your MPC studio, right? The next thing now I want you to take a look at is if I go ahead and open up the MPC, right? And let me go ahead and minimize so we have some space. And I'm gonna open the I'm gonna go ahead and use one of the kits here. Uh, let's see. All right, so I'm gonna load a kit up and as you can see, you see it's loading on a channel strip there. So I pretty much clicked everything. I pretty much clicked everything as you can see and it's only playing on one channel. So what you can do is go over here to the pad mixer and to separate everything on a different channel because you know you have up to 16 channels here. All you have to do is go to program out and you go to one. This will be number two so on and so forth so I'm just gonna do these first four here at the bottom so you can actually see what happens here now so watch what happens when I do click the pads I'm gonna go back to to the main view so you can actually see when I do hit the pads here what happened so as you can see you have your sounds coming out on each pads now that's a great thing now let me show you something now let's say you want to open up another plugin or let's say you want to open up another track on there we'll go and open up another track as you can see here and let's say you want to use a plugin right and i'm gonna just use hype for now i'm gonna select a different sound here let's go to piano uh, vinyl piano and i'm gonna go into my notes <laughs> So as you can see, the piano is playing. But if you take a look where it's playing from, it's still coming out of number one. So for the piano, what you wanna do is the same thing. You're gonna to go to the output and you're gonna select something different. So let's say I go to nine and 10, which was empty, so. So as you can see, it's now playing on aux four, right? Now, I know you're wondering, you're like, okay, I have them coming out of the mixer here, but I don't have them in my track view. All right, easily said than done. I'm gonna show you quickly how to get that up there. All you have to do is select all the tracks that you have, right click, create tracks, all right? Now I'll go ahead and close the mixer. And if you look, it's still playing on channel four. So right here, I can go ahead and do things like I can add a compressor. Uh, I can add a compressor if I want. And I can compress it. I can add the EQ if I need. You know, I can go ahead and just, add, let me just do a quick EQ on this. Something simple from Logic. And it will EQ it just coming out of the MPC the same way. All right, and let me go back to the track one here. All right. So as you can see, you can act virtually route every output from the MPC out to your DAW. You just have to select the MPC as a multi out. Once you do it as a multi out, the next step you have to do each track that you're doing, you look for its output. You select its output and you go ahead and add it to whichever channel that you want to show up here on your DAW in your track view or your channel mixer. Now, a couple other things about this. 
Now, do, if you notice, there are other things like sub mixes and, and mono out and things like that. In my next video, I'm gonna actually show you what those are for and what they're good for using with the MPC and your external DAW, whether it's Studio One, FL Studio, uh, Ableton, Reaper, um, whatever DAW that you're using that you're comfortable with, you don't need to switch or anything. As long as you get comfortable with using this software, the MPC software, you can pretty much get any sound, anything out of it. And to be honest with you, the drums that come out of the MPC software, I don't know, it's spectacular to me. Either way, I appreciate you guys sticking around and watching my videos, and I hope this was informative for you. Please like and share. I appreciate y'all. Until next time, peace.